request for and 32 passwords. This is to enable the Ministry delegation to join other social partners in time for the conference. And this is a key part my question will be based on. The Ministry undertakes to reimburse you with the funds as soon as Bank of Ghana honors our request for payment through the Giftmas platform. And for this uh, transaction, I provide my personal assurances. Has the money been re reimbursed? Have you been reimbursed? Them? The money has not been reimbursed. It's subject to payment and releases by the Ministry of Finance. But I think it's important, first of all, that I raise an uh, objection to some statement which was earlier made that Haruna has run away for the second uh, time. And this was made in the morning? Uh, I should think so. Uh, absolutely malicious, especially when you are pre-informed that there was a national security concern about a rural nurses uh, picketing at the Flagstaff House. And I indicated to you that I was unable, I was unable to continue with the interview in order to attend to that. But more importantly, an assurance to your good self and my said that I'll be here tomorrow. So why will you still go public and scandalize me as somebody running away from being accountable to the people of Ghana and to the media? I do take strong objection to it. Now, just for your emphasis, the letter you read and earlier the comment... Do you mind a quick question on that? Because no, it's wait, wait a minute. Make, no, 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 on the bit, on the bit of the, uh, the, the comment about you yeah, running right, away. Right. It's a fact, though, when Manasseh came to you in the office, mm -hmm. he asked a question, mm -hmm. and you insisted that... You, in fact, you truncated the interview and left. No, he was asking a question about a matter that he needs to be schooled upon, contingent yeah. liability. Manasseh doesn't understand what contingent liability So means. why did you, if you have to school him, you should have schooled him. Why, did, no, why did you truncate that interview? And he is here. He was there when I asked my uh, assistant to give me a document from the YEA which explains and gives out the details of the contingent liability. He's here. That was and the basis. You, that was never provided. No, but and, and, whatever and it is, I, I told the you, basis I was there with for, the camera the team, for saying, hold it. And I said, I have can we continue, even if you have the document? At the time that he's posing no. the question, I don't have the document. I said, wait a minute, for instance. Well, unfortunately, that's not what you said, though, because this no, is captured on video. No, and I'm saying, you, 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 you said, can't it's getting murky, let's Manesse. end it here. No, you ask Manesse to play the full video. But I'm saying, I gave him reason. But at the time, I needed an explanation as to what constituted the contingent liability. But if you note even in the video, I indicated to him that there is a reconciliation committee to which the Attorney General Office participates in it. Therefore, I'm unable to anticipate what the liabilities will be. And I also indicated to him in the video, he should make it available to you, that this was the first time ever uh, that the Youth Employment Agency budget was being subjected to parliamentary scrutiny. And my duty and responsibility as minister was to forward the budget to the Ministry of Finance and to Parliament for a decision. However, there's been no commitment of payment of any liability. But what the Reconciliation Committee have to satisfy, refer it to me, we refer it back to the uh, Youth Employment Agency, then they'll respond appropriately. So that's the issue about that. I'm going to ask it quickly, because we move on to the substantive okay, issues yeah, very briefly. The question about the contingent liability was even who conveyed it to you. And so if he's talking about a committee, can the Honorable Minister tell me members of this committee that he's talking about? A committee? That is doing the reconciliation. Who are oh, members of the committee? The Youth Employment Agency, the Attorney General Office, and, and that's the talking about the members of Employment of... and Labor. I'm telling you, I won't have the details here of their names, but there's a committee. And don't forget, I was not the minister responsible at the time when the committee was composed. Mm. Subsequent to the review and assessment committee report, then minister, working with the attorney general, especially when the president said that you should uh, direct that no more further uh, uh, payment, uh, get the attorney general office to recover monies that were owed to the government by those of them who did not perform mm. uh, the uh, investigative uh, committee. Mm. So there's an assessment committee. It was not constituted by me. I inherited it, but I will follow through their process. Okay. But we are still well, subjecting their findings to a diligent scrutiny. And maybe I'll refer you to page 139, I'm not too sure. If you look at the assessment report, for instance, a service provider would have told government, I recruited 30,000 people. Government says, no, I have 4,000 on my list. 
the investigative assessment committee will say, okay, do a reconciliation of it. So that if it is 4,000, you multiply it times the amount of money that you owe. This was also disclosed to my good okay. friend. Manasseh, you know what we'll do? We'll return to that Manasseh issue has about the content liability. Manasseh has document youth employment agency budget. He's holding copies. Yeah. Show me that this is forwarded well, by Haruna. Okay, well, that, that allow Manasseh to deal with those issues. Manasseh, please it is not make my notes of that. Um, I am not let's, the let's, board let's and I'm with... not the management of youth employment agency. The mm. agency forwarded this budget to me as minister for onward submission to the Ministry of Finance and to Parliament, okay. which I did. Okay. So if Manasseh says be, be, this be, document is from let, Haruna, me just, let, 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 let him disclose. Let me just say that briefly, that as far as I'm aware, there is no such committee. And that is why which actually... Which committee? There's no reconciliation. You, you, you asked him, you put... What I know, what I know is that the ministry, the, 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 uh, what's the name? The work was done by the committee, that's the JIDA committee, and the report was published. And as we speak, the AG's department actually met, and the money they are only retrieving, the only money they are retrieving, is the 55 million Ghana cities. And if the Honorable Minister goes through that uh, JIDA committee report, which is on his table, I saw it when I got to his office, we are to take not less than uh, 200 million Ghana cities. For and what? So from this company, I'm telling you, ROG was asked to train uh, no. 15 million. Let, let me finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. You, you come to you. Okay. So the question is, if you have money to take from these companies, over 200 million Ghana cities, the uh, Zoom Lion Group, that's the Jospon Group, is 141 million Ghana cities. We have not taken these monies. And so ROG is how much? RLG, they are, they, are, they are different uh, No, but components. let me know the amount, please. We, we will come to that. But what I'm trying to say is that if you have money to retrieve, and that's the question I, I posed. The content to liability yes, question. Then you have not been able to let them finish the reconciliation. We may even end up having to take money from this company. So that's the bit about the uh, contingent liability. So all that I was asking, I didn't even ask you to give me the specific details. I said, who gave this figure to you or what informed the figure, the figure to be retrieved to be retrieved no, no they, they, they budgeted for over 100 million ghana cities so my question what i just wanted to know who came to him and said okay this is the figure so put it in the budget because he admitted that when the budget was brought to the ministry from the yea this is what they added so i just wanted to know and i still want to know who gave you this figure and what informed this 111 million cities that you are budgeting for contingent liability. Because you believe that it should be more. It, Come again. You believe that money is not I believe it's not this, this exactly money, accurate. if we are to even do the reconciliation, this money shouldn't even go there. Okay. And Maybe according to, put uh, him on the reconciliation according to this, uh, according to the, their own uh, budget, they made mention of the fact that uh, the District Assembly Common Fund, which also funds the YEA, paid Zoom Lion about 162 uh, no, million cities last year. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, million? I say 62 million cities last year for directly. It is in this document. And as far as I'm aware, the contract between them and Zoom Lion ended, that's the YE and Zoom Lion, ended in February 2013. And I have uh, evidence of payments still made to this company since. So all that I'm saying by is that who? by the, the ministry. Which it, ministry? Uh, your, uh, the, the, the youth and Show sports me ministry. evidence of any um, authorization of payment saying, by Haruna Ibizu and the minister to that effect. Please, produce it. Wait and listen to me. I say produce it. You what say there's payment by the I, minister. I, I think ministry. It needs to, 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 to finish no. this point. And I'm not... I'm, I'm saying... It, it, I'm it, saying it, I'm it talks about the ministry. I'm saying the ministry. Not the minister. The ministry of youth and sports, which handed over to your ministry. And even last year, people were still paying. It only took Kwagbenu to write and say, we don't have a contract with Zoom Line, so the payment should stop. And that's why it has stopped. So all that I'm trying to say, if you look at these figures and put everything together, we are likely to have more monies coming from these companies and not paying contingent liabilities. So I just wanted to know what informed this figure. Okay. And let that's the, what we need to yes. uh, I think that Manasseh's appreciation of accounting and contingent liability uh, regrettably suspects. Because contingent liability is to anticipate what may occur in the event of an execution of a contract. So contingent liability, if you would appreciate, first of all, 
I am not the board nor the management of Youth Employment Agency. We have given effect to a legislation which now governs the activities of youth employment and the board and management are responsible to prepare their expenditure and income for me to forward to finance. Now on contingent liability, Manasseh must appreciate, I'm not here to speak for Zoom Lion. I don't know when the, the contract was signed, but I've appreciated it having taken over as minister. The fact that a contract came to an end does not necessarily mean in law that there was no liabilities incumbent. He gets it very wrong. If, for instance, in the one, two years, and you know government, uh, probably a particular service provider was not paid, it would be an outstanding liability. But I will know uh, because the sanitation model was done largely with Ministry of Local Government, District Assembly, Common Fund, and Zoom Lion as a service provider. But if he says a retriever, I'm aware, for instance, and I hope that he does not, uh, 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 he gives it to us, how much was RIG supposed to refund? He says 141 million. I'll bring in the official report. I mean, I, I have a duty to keep official secret. I have not seen 141 million as a recommendation of the committee to be retrieved from that particular I'm service provider. The, 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 but uh, the, the no, I say, you Ghana say the report. Limited. Yes, but and I say, limited. Zoom line. Yes. Yes. are not the same, particularly when we leave the field. So I think Manazan needs to have an understanding okay. of the Youth Employment Act, the Procurement Act, uh, the Financial Administration Act, and many other issues. But uh, Evans, you started very well. I think it's important. I, I want to see exactly. No, no, no. Now, now there's something I want to take you to please, personally please, on. Please. Uh, I've been scandalized publicly. Minister spends one million on one foreign trip. In your uh, in your intro, you said nine hundred thousand. Even that, if you say one million, I have official documents here that. Just not, a time, nobody has said you spend one million. No, that's go to no. my joy online. And retract that, please. Nobody has Go said to you Ghana spend one where, million. No, you have. See this? This, this is what. Have. This, this is a story. I have read Ghana. No, 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 no. This is it. This is the evidence. I reduce you spend no, nine hundred thousand no. uh, on on. I also give you something which is on the uh, on 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 my phone. Don't worry, which will come. But that's not important. What I want you to appreciate, Evans, is that it was not. A Haruna Idrisu trip. I mean, one million to charter a plane could have chartered. That would have had him even accompany me. One million was for 16 member delegation. And I just want to, to read it to you for purposes. Please do. The delegation included 16 officials and it was approved by the office of the chief of staff of the office of the president. So you have here, for instance, participation in the 104 session of the International Labor Conference, uh, 18th May 2015. Signed Chief of Staff is here. It's official document. I'm not as uh, reckless to be sharing public document with you. For, but for your eyes, I'll share this with you. So this was officially sanctioned and approved. And it included, I don't want to embarrass other public office people from Public Services Commission, National Labor Commission, Youth Employment Agency, uh, uh, Fair Wages and Salaries, MPRA, Fair Wages. And it included titular members of the government of Ghana delegation. And I had the privilege to chair the governing board session on a particular session. So this is a mandatory statutory conference approved officially, not for Haruna. I'm not a flying minister anyway. You can but find you, out. But you made the look. request yes. of YPA. And I say it is in, I'll deal with that as a second issue. It's in tandem with the law, nothing unlawful. Let Manasa open his law, section 24 of YEA Act 887. And uh, just let me read his copy. I borrowed it from him. Uh, you want to know mm -hmm. a request? Yeah, yes, I made a request. Okay. What is let, let, toward legally about let, this, this is a question. This is a question. You, you just asked a question that, that, that needs that Can needs I deal with it? Yes. The question is, you say in your letter requesting the amount of money yes. that, as you are aware, part of the Youth Employment Agency budgetary funds are to be allocated to the ministry for supervisory activities. Absolutely. Please explain to me Perfect. how flying Perfect. 16 members of government Perfect. to an ILO conference constitutes supervisory Perfect. activities of ILO. Yes. That's your definition of supervisory activities. No, I'm asking a question. You are, no. Just explain to me you how are that your category, your I mean, constitutes all your supervi cool. supervision. I am very jealous of my reputation and integrity. Very jealous of my oath to uphold the laws of Ghana. I'm very jealous of my duty and responsibility to account to the Ghanaian people. And I'll take you to, I'm also privileged, I'm a lawyer, I may not be the best, 
It says, application of funds of the agency, section 24, and it reads, the agency shall apply its funds. So legally, go and get uh, one of our respected lawyers here to school you. It means that this is the purposes for which you can use the Im Youth Employment Agency money. And it says under section 24E, 1E, and I quote, for the administrative expenses of the agency and oversight supervision, by the ministry. Hold it there. Manasseh and you, in your conclusion this morning, you said administrative expenses have exceeded 5%. That is not the No, we'll go there. I no, want to address my question. Take your time. I'm step, addressing step it. By step. Evans, I'm doing we'll come that. to the 5%. Your pool. No, it has to be done in tandem with the law. But you haven't answered that. my question. I am. Take it okay. easy. 24-1E. So, admin expenses was wrongly and erroneously conceived by you and uh, Manasseh to mean expenses of oversight. Now, if you have members of parliament, and I read for you, there were three members of parliament who were part of this delegation. That is oversight. Oversight does not necessarily mean the ministry and YEA. You also had the chief executive of the Youth Employment Agency and some staff participate in it. It's a statutory Participate conference. in a conference. Yes, yes, yes. For purposes of appreciating and knowing best practice, how to deal with employment matters, decent work, contract employment. For instance, how to treat youth employment employees. I'll tell you one lesson we learned, and I hope you have the patience to listen. Over time, which is part of the work he did earlier, this one, he's lost it. You would have an instant where a service provider took from government 400 Ghana cities or 500 Ghana. He ended up paying uh, the woman or our sister or mother working only 100 Ghana and keeping 400. I've been guided by ILO practice, best practice. One, the beneficiary must be at the end, not at the top. So rather, in the new models we'll roll out, beneficiaries will earn better and higher than they used to because of what we've learned. And for instance, if you were paying them 250 Ghana cities, best practice again we learned from ILO is that pay them 250, but keep a certain 500 Ghana or 50 Ghana for purposes that when they are transiting at the end of the two years, you will give it to them as part of their exit strategy. I learned participating in the conference. I engaged the guy, rather, who is the uh, Secretary General, even on giving me experts on persons with disability to appreciate it. But I'm back to Section 24 of uh, the law again. I beg you just to end. Uh, Manasseh, 5% of what? How would you be able to determine 5%? Because you don't even know the budget of youth employment agency. So any computation you do will be based on a fundamentally wrong and misleading assumption. 5% of what? And I post that to you, Evans. 5% of what? Okay. Do you know their budget? Let, no. Let me, let me so, just, let me but just, no, but to let him appreciate, in the 5%, you must make room for the agency and make room for oversight of the ministry. And then he goes to procurement of vehicles. Let me share. But, but let, let's stay on the five percent. No, no, no. On let, the five percent. Let's, let's, let's finish with this. On the five percent, I just want to make a point. On the five percent, though, it's not Manasseh who made the point. It is the former chief executive who made the point to you in a letter that I hope he, is not doing he was quoting was quoting that, that to you. So so Manasseh, let us ask the client for the Manasseh here. Yeah? Manasseh, okay. make I hope he's not doing his business. The the the. I don't should tell us how much was allocated to his ministry. For the year 2015, from the YE. 2015 years. Or 2016. 2015. Oh, apart from this expenditure. No, I just want to know the figure. Do you have any idea how much was allocated to you? Because in your letter, you stated, as you are aware, some part of the budgetary allocation is to be used for oversight responsibility Absolutely. and others. How and much was allocated to you? I just want to know that before no, you proceed. Uh, so, Evans, I hope you have some time. At the time that I made my first request in March, and I appreciate the law in me, there was no Youth Employment Act. So check the date. So at that time, I could only ask to borrow and pre-finance, because there's no commitment legally for youth employment agencies to support the activities and operations of the ministry. 5th April, the law was gazetted. I was now empowered by law to share the 5% with the agency. Whatever it works up the, 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 to. So, the for question, instance, the why is, uh, I, I will share with you. No, for no, instance, you, Evans, let's at the end of 2015, I'm asking a specific question, question, to question to because I'm answering you. I'm reading your letter. Just, just Evans, at the end letter. of 2015, why EA had why EA had 200 million in their revenue. Hmm. So, if you were to calculate up to five percent for the agency and the ministry, 
that would be enough money. But I didn't even spend up to that. I didn't spend up to 2% as a minister. Now, for your purposes, it is normal practice within the public service when you are constrained and straight up with financial releases from the Ministry of Finance to depend on an agency. Yes, I think you haven't answered my last question. Repeat it, repeat it. Maybe the question is, uh, you made specific reference that as you are aware, this is your first sentence, part of the youth employment agency budgetary funds are to be allocated to the ministry for supervisory activities. Yes. And this is actually quoted. This, what you are saying, is from the law. That's, that's the law, section yeah, 24. Yes, that's Do what I'm saying. you agree with it? I agree with it. Absolutely. Yes. But you are telling us that as the, of the time you are making this request, the law was not in place. You just said it here. No, read, read first. I said there are two letters. The in first reference letter, to the, the 129,000. Okay. The second letter, there was a law. There was a law. So the question so the I'm first asking, letter the question was I'm to asking, borrow. The question and the I'm second asking letter, I'm now empowered by law to spend part of it on oversight. But if you have a chief executive who is Manasseh's friend, who comes in and says, no, read your friend's letter. He says, I won't give you money. No, that is not what we are saying. Okay. Then I had no let's, allocation. Let's, let's have... I had no allocation. My allocation then is, I am aware that for 2015, the Ministry of Employment and Labor borrowed and prefinanced some of its expenditure, including resources for oversight, up to 1 million 290 Ghana cities. Mm. You have to convert dollars at that particular exchange rate into cities to appreciate it. And there's nothing legally untoward about it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Illegal. So I just want it. I just want to be clear. So give I, me I, the I, are you, are you, give me the you, Zoom Lion figure are you, are you and tell me the indebtedness no, no. of Zoom Lion. I'm, you I'm, know I'm it saying better. something. Are you admitting that you don't know how much you were supposed to spend? How much was allocated I, to you? Your friend you said he won't release he, money because I'm, of excessive demand. So how will I have an allocation? I just asked the question because your letter said, as you know. But if you wrote a lot of demanding money and it is rejected that this, I won't give you this money, money was given to excessive demand, was the nine hundred was the nine hundred thousand not given to you? It was. So and I've given you a budget of up to one million. And you are telling me a, a budget of one million. Oh yeah, I said expenditure. The ministry expended a little above one million overall in terms of borrowing, pre-finance, and oversight allocation from the Youth Employment Agency, consistent with the Financial Administration Act. Read LI 1802. Even as minister, I have the mandate and power to via expenditure when allocations are made. It is lawful. It is lawful, also you are saying. But I'm the, not the, saying no, no. that I've read the, the law, the, 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 so the, it's the, not for a matter of no, choice for the, you. The, the, the simple question here, the, the simple for question, the, the argument you made in the morning is that you did not exceed your budget, you were within it. And I just want to know. budget? Because which budget? apart from this, which, I said, there's your allocation budget. of what, what, from there's 2015, there's now 2016. So we are talking about 2015. That is why you are asking you how much were you entitled to from so the you budget, said, so that we can no, no, so you If I computed 2% of 200 million, that would give me an idea what would have been my entitlement if the then chief executive was relaxed to release the money to support the ministry. Who, who allocated this 2%? Who told you here that? So so you, you're saying that you didn't the spend law, the more than 5% of what you're entitled to? Never. The minister has never spent... But to verify that you need to answer no. my last question, give us no, what, the, what you're entitled to. No, the ministry to. have not spent even up to 3%. Okay. We, we need to, we need to wrap up, We have to share the 5% with the, 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 the youth so, employment agency, which was his conclusion. I mean, uh, 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 the uh, ministry is not an agency. There's a brief question, though. Brief question, so as we wrap up, though. You let, let him the the key question. question of the spending the nine hundred thousand, there was purchase of vehicles. I think you were going to address. Yeah, also. I want to address vehicles. Um, uh, yes, I want also. to. I want to. So can you leave the, my the, to leave no, no. this question? The, 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 the key question. Like, don't just hold the matter, sir. The key ahead. questions about the, the spending of the money for the travel. The, the question that will, people will ask is, and this is a purely um, you know layman's question. Why? Was it a prudent use? of state resources first trip in in march 129,000. Second trip almost a million cities to travel to geneva i think both trips were were to geneva isle of conferences at the time when we're all talking about shortfalls in state resources no, etc no. was it a prudent use of the taxpayers money to expend that amount of money it was just to take people is, to a conference it is a statutory and mandatory requirement that government together with its social partners 
engages at the ILO. It's not just government of Ghana. Every other country went with a sizable number of the delegation. And it's important for you to appreciate that this particular session, President John Dramani Mahama was a special guest of honor of the ILO following Guy Rider's visit to Ghana. So, the so president what about only that doesn't mean anything, does it? The president only uh, cut short his decision to participate arising out of the June 3rd disaster that he felt a certain obligation and responsibility. But why is that a justification for 900,000? No, no, whatever. You, you, are, you are quoting 900. You buy air tickets in dollars anyway. So if you buy for 16 people, not Haruna Idrisu, so multiply maybe $2,000. Did they fly in first class to or the... No, or the I'm the only person who flies business class. It's not, it's not business the rest class. will do economy. I don't mind even taking an Abubuloshi trot trot to wherever destination to take me. You know me too well. But now let's address vehicles so that Manessa... So, so for you, it's a prudent use of the state resources? I say we, that, that's had, a question we had official approval to participate I get that. in a mandatory I get that. international I, conference. I get that. We, 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 we saw, we saw our approval we, of the state we, for 303.6 million for branding. Saw, so we the we fact saw, that states approved doesn't mean that it's prudent. I'm asking, Evans, you believe it's prudent. Evans, don't throw in windows. No, I'm asking a question. Because I didn't get an answer. I mean, deal with it. You have gotten it. Which is, a it's prudent because the state approved it. Okay, of move on to the public institutions. That's fine. Let, let's deal with the vehicles now, very briefly. Uh, for Manassas to Manasa, you must learn. You did a good work in the first instance, but this time you've lost it. Procurement, and I'm charging and taxing Manasa. Give me any, any official communication of Harun Edris to initiating a procurement process. I don't do that. As minister, my is policy. And even that he didn't appreciate it. When you are concluding this morning, you said Haruna issued policy directive. I hope you appreciate policy directive. I issued only two policy directives. One, employ persons with disability because they are vulnerable. They need our emotional, physical, and financial support. His good friend Kwak Benu came and stopped the appointment of 14 blind people. <laughs> you can't be so uh, inhumane. That 14 people looking for youth employment. The vehicle, the vehicle. No, because you wrote yeah, I'm to, you wrote to, to the, vehicle. To the I'm agency. To vehicle. Asking, I'm asking the agency on vehicle, yes. to amend its procurement plan. Absolutely. To include a package Absolutely. of vehicles. So let Manasa, no, no, ask it yourself, Manasa. Okay, quickly. Okay. No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, we, we need yes. to wrap up. I need, yeah, I need to, good. I need to address They're that. Good. Quickly, so, Manasa, when you go out, ask your friend if they still want to leak official documents to you. Read my letter, 2nd June 2015, Procurement Plan 2015, signed Haruna Idrisu. Listen to the first paragraph, Evans, and for your purpose. I refer to your letter number, Jida, of 20th May 2015, on the above subject. The subject was that they wrote to me that they want to procure a number of vehicles for their purposes, agency. Then I say, the, the, this is to request Youth Employment Agency to amend its procurement plan so that I'm going to Public Procurement Authority, which is also mandatory under the Procurement Act and is one of the legislations that Manessa must apprise himself with. Because you don't read the Youth Employment Act against procurement standard alone. Then I added, Evans is here, mm. two four pickup vehicles, one cross country vehicle for the Youth Employment to support the ministry. Absolutely nothing legally wrong with that. Okay. I mean, even project vehicles. Don't we take project loans and procure vehicles? Okay. And I'm saying that in buying your vehicles, go through proper procurement. Make sure you are not just buying 10 pickups for your regional officers. Because national officers, assuming you employment has a meeting in Asen Gregoire, as minister, if I don't have an official vehicle, how do you expect me to participate in it to exercise oversight? And your definition of oversight worries me. Because it's too Nobody narrow. has defined oversight Abs yet. No, he attempted. You even you are added I that asked parliamentary oversight even included. So first of all, let him appreciate that I Haruna and I want to add one thing that he wants to raise tomorrow because tomorrow you no, know. But, no, no, I, I'm sorry we can't go there because that hasn't been raised on the show. No, but I have, no, I, it's, no, 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 we can't. Text, it hasn't been, uh, said that that, that, that is a private conversation between you and him. It's not on the show. Oh, but so we'll deal with that on the show. Uh, because I need to wrap up. I'm going to answer briefly on that last bit about right. the vehicles. Let's do it. Briefly, briefly. All this story came on this uh, paragraph of a letter written to the uh, Honorable Minister. And the conclusion is this. With only half of the year gone, the administrative expenditure of the agency is already in far excess of 5% of the funds of the agency <laughs> allowed by the Act. So, so you know the, difference between agency the, the, and the, 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 uh, the, the story no. is basically about this. They took monies, they made demands for cars, trips, 
And his justification is that it is part of the allocation made to them. So I just wanted to know from him whether he knows how much was allocated to him and whether they were able to spend that or not. He could not tell or me. Or they exceeded what they exceded they were, that was allocated. He could not tell me the amount that was given to them. Secondly, on this video. I think it says you provide a. No, I did. I said expenditure wise, the Ministry of Employment and Labor received money from Youth Employment Agency. I think the question is how much? For no. a 1 million zero two nine. 838,000 Ghana cities expenditure and then uh, uh, ever as you that, help that, me that, that normally when the chief of that, staff that is, is approving a trade he okay. will say that you, you it know, is charged you, you, against you, this particular that, that, that is not true and i just read that because if you, if you take this two trades, okay okay, okay. If, you, if you take the vehicles if you take the vehicles, I don't think all well, the trips alone, after his final trip, uh, 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 amount, the amount on the trips approval alone. Approval is just also like the given one for the about. following expenditure to be charged about. against yeah. the but youth Hold on, hold on. We have two people talking at the same time. Approval is also given for the following expenditure to be charged against the youth employment agency vote. So in attacking youth employment, I had the approval of the office of the president to take a certain amount of money from the youth employment account. Okay, Administrative. Again, back to your point. Done. Okay, because because it was approved, it's okay. It's okay, Manasse. Thank you very much, Anand. My pleasure. So if I'm and, not and I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. The, uh, the Gumbe said that you don't frighten a twin mother with a big a big thing. Mm. So if you stop claiming publicly that Haruna has run away from you. Okay. So I, I, I apologies to our listeners uh, for, for the use of the of the, of the I will away. guide jealously against any attempt to throw my hard-won reputation and integrity. Indeed, I've achieved international stature mm. in the work that I do. It's good that you availed uh, yourself, and I'm pretty oh, sure I'm here. Thank uh, you very because, much. Well, I'm not sure about issue. tomorrow because this no problem. Navy, no uh, problem. Other issues of people, I have to engage because I know there's issues. far more than so we've had so whatever far. Whatever he has, contact you on. Whatever he uh, has, so we're to you. Thank you very much. Bulletin is also live.